Halo marketers, kita kembali lagi di program Katakan Dengan Data yang akan mengupas sebuah industri dalam perspektif data. Kali ini saya kembali ditemani oleh Pak Joel Takata dari IQVIA dan kita akan membahas 5 tren yang akan berkembang di consumer health industry post pandemic. Halo Pak Joel. Good Thanks for having again. me. Always good. Always a pleasure, <laughs> Pak Iwan. But we'll we'll talk about the the trends, the the key changes right. uh, in the consumer health after mm. the pandemic. Mm. And I think we're we're entering, we're nearing the end of the pandemic, uh, hopefully. And we will see some changes in, mm. in the in the consumer health industries. And uh, your company IQVIA uh, summarizes five. Uh, key trends. What are the trends? Well? Correct. So we've looked at these trends from really the all you know the projects that we have done, the studies that we uh, have looked at. You know, especially during the pandemic, uh, there are different waves of studies, and these are really the some of these themes really have resonated. Right. Um, the first would be in terms of the perception for. Uh, the Indonesians for consumer health. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very, it's very positive. It's looking very, very upbeat because we're seeing more and more of the consumers uh, mm-hmm. have a high awareness now okay. of the need for the need to be healthy. Okay. That's the first uh, spending. Um, we've, I, I think we've talked about earlier, you know, on how you really uh, how people spend. And uh, the key word there is now value for money. Value for money. Yeah. And then you will hear a lot of inflation uh, right. going around now. So you really need to be really spending mostly on the essentials. Okay. The third would be um, as a result of the pandemic, mm-hmm. you now have more uh, engagements, right? Not only with you know the the usual you know In over the counter, yeah. Yeah? but now you have. Engagement with HCPs, right. you know, uh, pharmacists, the healthcare, professionals. healthcare professionals. Correct. Yeah. Um, you have telemedicine, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and finally, I think the trend that we're seeing also on some of the policies from the government really helping to push more mm. uh, local, local products, local products. So those trends, I think, are really. Uh, affecting you know, the industry in general, mm. uh, both uh, the, the companies and then the consumers. Okay, yeah. so let's go through uh, the trends one by one. Sure. sure. Um, so what changes in terms of the perception of the importance of health for mm. Indonesians? Yeah. Yep. So you now have uh, a more, shall we say, educated mm-hmm. uh, consumers, okay. right? Um, and it, you will be seeing the um, the outlook across the generations, uh, mm-hmm. the population, right, from right. baby boomers to um, Gen Z, right, having having really a very optimistic mm-hmm. um, view of health. Okay. And um, this is higher than where it was prior to the pandemic. Oh. Okay. So it means that. Um, okay. You know the trend for self, especially for self care, mm. self prevention, really is looking very, very optimistic. People are optimistic that uh, their health is going to be uh, well managed. Yeah, uh, they're going to be healthy throughout their lives. Correct, uh, correct. Especially the younger ones, they're more optimistic than. The, true, true. Okay, yeah. uh, and you, you said that this is even higher than before the pandemic. Right, so people are even more optimistic after having you know, suffered the, a couple of years of pandemic. They right. are now more optimistic coming out of it. Yeah, the optimism is really more on uh, the ability to self-manage. Okay, on more on the self-care. Right, you can, uh, you can take care of take yourself. care of yourself. Okay, I, th- that's the really the I think the optimism that we are that we are seeing. I see. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Let's move on to the second trend sure. about the spending. Mm. Uh, 
previous episode, we talked about how Indonesian market is very value for money uh, mm. market, whereby right. only vitamins probably is the only exception. Right. The other categories are really, really price sensitive. Correct. Correct. Uh, so what's the outlook uh, after the pandemic? Is it going to be continuing uh, to be like that or is it going to be changing? Yeah, there's there's some bit of changes, right? Um, you know, before you're really stuck up on yeah. vitamins you know, during <laughs> during the pandemic, yeah. right? Now I think it has it has changed. Um, it's normalizing. You know, you're 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 just consuming now based on uh, how much you really think is is enough, right? Because now okay. mobility is is there. However, the other thing that we are seeing are those um, more COVID, COVID-related um, products okay. like, you know, the the, um, the analgesics, right? Mm. The pain relief. Yeah. I think we're seeing that more as being essential. So you'll see that higher spending in mm. those mm. Uh, in those categories, and it, it's it really makes sense. Yeah. Um, Although you know we're in the next phase of the um, mm. moving away now, you yeah. know, going endemic, you still have that. It's not. It's not going away. It's right? not going it's away. Not, it's it's it now becomes a flu, you know, a flu-like. You yeah. know? So you're really back to treating those symptoms, right? Uh, uh, with the other categories, like yeah. uh, you know, the the more uh, uh, curative, more, more okay. curative. So it's more manageable now. So that's why people are optimistic because that's, they think the, this is correct. something I can manage with correct. Yeah. only very basic treatments. Basic treatment as well. Cough and, uh, medicine, pain relief. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and you know, um, because of the uh, these trends, you will now see lesser of uh, buying the you know. Um, non-essentials. Okay. Right. You will see less and less priorities on that one. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, so you, you look at some of these mm-hmm. um, additional supplements, for example. Right. They, you know, they may mm-hmm. not be uh, the top of mind anymore. Okay. You know, you're supplementing for um, out, outside of the regular okay. vitamins, for example. Right. All the combinations, right. iron, D, E, and E, you know, probably yeah. um, will 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 normalize, okay. right? Um, and there would be, you know, spending more like if you really need it, it's a one-time type of spending in terms of like you know your mm. probiotics. I see. Okay. And the luxuries definitely will still be at the at the bottom of the food chain. Oh, I see. So yeah. people are more focusing on essential, essential th- really. things that they really need, yeah. uh, and then cutting on the indulgence or yeah. the extras. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Um, I think the inflation also has really has something. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of thing to do with that, right? Yeah. So um, you, the consumers, are really more um, looking at what they need. But yeah. at the same time, when they look at the products, it's really value for money. I see. So yeah. that that um, it, which is actually good, which is actually right. good right. in terms of the um, uh, looking at mm-hmm. the overall trends. Right. Uh, in terms of uh, spending, is it going to be decreasing or is it going to be increasing in terms of right. healthcare spending? Right. So I think overall, um, it's we're, we're seeing some of the. Reduction, right? right? And it has something to do, of course, with you know the current situation, as I mentioned earlier. You really have inflation, yeah. right? So the 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 wallet is um, you mm. know lesser <laughs> now. Yeah. You know, then you go by essentials and all of that. Yeah. So um, that lessens the capability of consumers to to really buy more. Right. Right. Yeah. And it is what it is. You you right. have to really. You really see the redu- the reduction in spending. The reduction. Yeah. So for um, pharmacy or um, uh, consumer healthcare companies, right? They 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 got a windfall during the pandemic with sure. huge uh, bump in sales. Right. Uh, next year it will be less 
less of that. Less of that. Yeah, you yeah. won't you, you won't see you won't see that happening. I think it's back to back to normal. Normal in terms of the the competition, in terms right. of you know, looking at productivity, right? Yeah. In in their promotions, uh, it will be coming back to to that. So you will still need to. You know the best to reach the consumer's mind. The windfall period is done. Period is done. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's move on to the next trend. You you talk about uh, different engagement with healthcare right. professionals, with right. doctors and yeah. uh, nurses. So yeah. what, what's what's it like now? Yeah. So uh, it's it's normalizing. I think mm-hmm. it's going to um, you know pre-pandemic yeah. um, stages, right? In terms of uh, you know the the frequency, frequency. Right? Use looking at the the, let's say the, mm. the the type of engagement, mm. right? But when you look at specific engagement with HCPs, yeah. right? Um, the the doctors are seem seem to be stabilizing. You know, okay. It's uh, it's not really growing. But what we've seen is the growth at the higher growth at the pharmacy, the pharmacist, okay. right? And it makes sense because yeah. you have now lesser uh, restriction, right? right? Consumers are going back to the independent pharmacy mm-hmm. and you need the pharmacist in the front line, right. you know, as an important source of information. I see. So consumers are becoming, again, more engaged you know, and we're seeing that uh, in terms of percentage, mm-hmm. uh, higher than what we're seeing compared to the the, the doctors themselves. I see. So yeah. you're most likely gonna interact more with the pharmacists Pharm- instead of the doctors. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the methods of interaction, right. what would be the most dominant? Yeah, it'd still be you know um, um, the hybrid. The hybrid. Um, you know, you'll you'll do a face to face, but there's also a, a online. Right, where um, you know, there's there's still a segment of that that you really need to to manage for mm. doctors especially, right? The yeah. um, the um, online uh, will probably be uh, still useful, yeah. right? Uh, but mm. lesser to a lesser degree right. um, compared to what we've seen during during the pandemic. I see. Same with you know the the pharmacies we're seeing. We'll probably be seeing more face to face, you know. Um, but the digital platforms, uh, you know, all these online e pharmacies yeah. uh, will still have uh, a place, you know, in terms right. of the interaction. That's uh, exactly a good segue to the next trend about right. the telemedicine, telemedicine e pharmacy. Right. Um, it it got a windfall as well. Mm. The telemedicine during yeah. the pandemic because uh, people couldn't get anywhere uh, right. so they have to rely on telemedicine sometimes right. uh, will it normalize again or will it uh, still growing rapidly yeah. uh, well next year for sure the growth will not be rapid okay you know? so <laughs> um, it's normalizing and even to a, to a point that it's actually declining oh okay. you know, there's lesser Lesser. There's lesser influence, right? Um, except for some of the um, important apps, for example. I think the um, consultation platforms, the teleconsultation, mm-hmm. are still um, useful, yeah. very useful. Um, the, the interactions would not be as high, but it mm. continues to be um, a, an important uh, right. component. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, I think the rest, you know, you look at um, the um, the chats or mm-hmm. the phone calls. I think that will be less going less and less because okay. now consumers, you know, we really wanted to do more face to face, either through application or face to face. Face to face, face to face through teleconsultation. Teleconsultation. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, how about self-medication? Right. Uh, Indonesian are optimistic because they think they can manage their own health. Yeah. Uh, and we're like, we're a society where we are proud to self-medicate. <laughs> what's what's the trends going to be like in yeah. 2030? And 
that, that will continue to be uh, going up. Right. Yeah. In, in, and the, you're, you're, you don't only see this in uh, Indonesia, but you're seeing this trend across Asia Pacific, at oh. least, you know, uh, for the markets. Everywhere, this is really um, a, um, a high um, consciousness for, for self-care, right? But I think the issue there is that you really need more education, right? right? When you look at um, self-care, as you said, we wanted to do more self-medication, mm -hmm. right? Um, then it has to be in the right form. <laughs> right. You, know? you have to you, know how to do it. You know how to do it. <laughs> Right? Yeah. You really need to have the right source of, um, of information. And, uh, you know, recent cases, for example, um, related to the um, cough, yeah. cough medication, for example, yes, yes. Uh, that, that shows you that um, because it's very much accessible, there, there's, there are cases that it can go right. um, the other way. You know, it can go There's a huge risk. There's a huge risk as well if you're not... Yeah. Um, aware enough of the, um, mm. the 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 right dosaging, right. you know, uh, to the point that it should it should really be not uh, be abused, you know, because all of this exactly. um, adverse event, all of the side effects came from from not understanding mm. um, the the medication itself. So um, mm. people will still continue to self medicate. Right, um, but you really need to be guided, and that's where I think the um, the companies, right, yeah. and and the whole um, ecosystem yeah. can can really help. You right? need education to supplement that yeah. optimism of self medication. Yeah. Because even the government, for mm. example, is espousing self prevention, the preventive measure, right. rather than curative. So. Right, um, it's mm -hmm. um, it's go really going up, and mm -hmm. um, of course, as a result of that, you'll see consultation um, mm -hmm. maybe a bit lesser. But again, it depends on um, the the illness or it depends on the symptoms, right? right? So we see we are expecting that trend. Oh, okay. That brought us to the last trend, sure. which is the government initiative to promote. Uh, self resilience yeah. domestically to, yeah. to build our own capability to survive, True. Uh, for example, the next pandemic yeah. or uh, uh, other form of healthcare uh, situations. Correct. So, what's what's uh, what's it like, but right now and for the following year? Yeah, I think it will be a very um, strong um, tilt towards the uh, domestic companies. Yeah. There will be, I think, more motivation right, in terms of doing innovation. So mm -hmm. what, what we're seeing also is the um, growing discussion on um, herbal medication okay. and traditional, right. traditional type of medication. Right? We're seeing that really gaining, gaining in more, more traction. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, as a result of the, um, the trend towards uh, more localization you know more more products uh, mm. being produced yeah. locally yeah. Right? so that's that's one of the uh, offshoots there and um, yeah uh, I, I think we are also seeing innovations going into this um, mm. herbal medication uh, okay. and the traditional uh, medicine you know it's it's becoming better in terms of packaging, right, in right. terms of uh, how um, we know the, uh, the yeah. herbal medication. So it's, it's going to a, a better level, to the next level. To the next level, yeah. competing with the modern medication. Exactly. Right. You know? Interesting. Um, and um, there's, there's uh, in other words, there's quality discussions within mm -hmm. the herbal medication and even, and even science yeah, in a way. Right, yeah. right. And this is very Indonesian or also happening elsewhere in Asia Pacific? This is happening across, right? But I think because the herbal and the traditional medication is really big in Indonesia, yeah. we're really, really seeing and we're really feeling the influx right. of uh, 
products along this line and you're you're really seeing a lot of the big domestic companies mm. uh, looking into this space if they are not yet there you know interesting yeah. Yeah. thank you so much Bajo. this is a very eye-opening uh, session and episode uh, thank you so much for for sharing that with us thank you Fai Wan. thanks for having me always a pleasure Oh, 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 oh,